again though, just trade those kills immediately right back out. And Enzo come out on top here in round number two, only losing one player along the way, and they are just not gonna have any trouble closing that one out. But here comes the very unsurprising third round buy from Vega Squadron once again. All the AKs come into play here. Enzo's Opera Little is gonna come out to play here as well, tossing the M4 back over to a teammate. That's gonna be Fly now equipped with this one. Zoner will stick with the P90 to work with this, but everybody else is back up to a rifle this time now. And for Vega, the work is gonna come back over here towards the fountain. They immediately turn it back around though as they get spotted. Lashwood's gonna try to push himself out here still a little bit as they go for the one two switcheroo and it works out great. Now they come out from connector as well. Latro just shuts down Arrow and Little as it looked like it was gonna be a switch but that is not the case at all. They've taken some heat so one player from Enzo could do some serious damage. That's gonna be Fly. Peeks out, finds the first one, finds the second one on a Cassander. More on their way from Long A but sort of for the time being here they're holding it strong. That pop up there, Fly gets the intel on the mirror now and now they know that there's more coming out from Long A too. They're gonna try to fall back. Fly sees this. He knows that they're moving away from this one. Now trying to get themselves into connector and over towards that B site. So his nade's gonna connect. They're throwing more players back down towards B. That nade is gonna finish off JR. So that's gonna throw one of their players onto the floor. Finally, Mir shutting down Fly. But still, now it's a two on two. And these final two players from the side of Vega, they just don't have any health to work with at all. Mir's at 24, Latcher's at 14. That is not a good take make. And now they have to try to find their way onto the site. Zoner putting himself just behind the semi here. He's gonna be off angle, but he's able to adjust his aim without taking a single hit that time. So takes down one, and now with 30 seconds left two, they found one player. He's gonna be off angle for the second one, but I think he sees it coming now as he falls back just a little bit here. And Mir sneaking up, he just has to wait, but he finds that headshot on the Zoner. So this at the very least lets him get the plant, which again, considering everything that had happened up to this point is not gonna be the worst situation in the world. And now again, a little bit of mystery being veiled to this one too. Potentially we could see him clutch this out. Gonna fall back in a big way because he knows how aggressive Art's gonna be with this. This is the false impression that he's safe, but still cannot peek back out. Has to be very careful. We're gonna see Art rolling back in, but Mir sitting just over here inside of the little cubby on the other side of this one. But Art, I think he knows it's here. Oh, oh, he fires, but no! Mir's gonna be able to catch him on the off angle, so that's gonna take him down. And that will be Vega shut uh, upsetting here on the round number three. And that should not have happened, to be completely honest here. Ends up with everything they needed to work that. Both of the final players from the side of Vega had no HP to clutch that, but they both managed to do it. They will lose one of them along the way, but again, in the grand scheme of things, the T's can take these hits, the CT's can't. They can still afford to buy through a lot of this. Uh, and for Enzo, unfortunately, they only, they've only had two rounds to work with here, both of them having fairly heavy investments into them, so they're gonna have to immediately go on to a save round here. Should only be one, though. I don't imagine that they're gonna need to do a two in a row right at the get-go. So, for Vega, they just work it nice and slow this time, as is the general manner when it comes to uh, these eco rounds. With Zoner, catching the first kill over here. Cassander finding a trade, but Zoner still alive and well. He's going to be able to take down Lamp. So he gets two before falling to Cassander finally. Now JR works his way back out. Art finding at least one more kill here. But again, Cassander able there to be there for the trades. He picks up a third kill for himself. Now Arrow is going to be the last one left alive. Easily going to be a gun on the ground for him to pick back up. If that plant comes back in, the Mon's going to roll. That's going to be completely missed Molly, though. That will go anywhere that they need it to. And Arrow being loud as a bat here. They know where he is. Definitely not going to be any mystery as to this round. And for Vega, this should be an easy closeout for these guys. You even got Kishander levitating right now. But uh, he doesn't necessarily need to do that. But again, it was pretty very unlikely that someone actually checked it. And he probably could have just slid right down there and grabbed the knife stab in the back if he really wanted to do it. So Vega will tie things up at 2-2. And again, doing a good job of keeping things close. Now again, we saw the 8-7 coming out previously because of how heavily the rounds were being traded out on Dust 2. Uh, Enzo, to be completely honest, I don't think they can really afford to have such a thing end up happening here. Um, they need to be concise with this. They need to take a strong lead. They need to end this on something like 9, 6, 10, 5. That's a really hold that good advantage. Their CT side wasn't exactly awful, but Vega does have a pretty good one. Vega's obviously going to look a little bit weaker on the CT side too, so it sort of nullifies itself out, but the big pickup here so far from what we've seen is going to rely on Enzo definitely picking up as many CT rounds as possible, where it's almost the opposite. This happens a lot for both teams. It's their stronger sides on either end of the spectrum here, so Zoner, he'll find the first kill over here taking down Latro. Lamb's been heavily injured from this encounter as well. He's sitting down at 23 HP is able to fall back to get himself just outside of construction over there towards the sewers, but now you've got JR patiently waiting for a peek from the CTs. They get a little bit over-aggressive, so JR's gonna find this trade. And now these guys on Vega just trying to wait this out. Hopefully they can re-establish this push here in a second. Fly putting himself onto the B side as well. 
And now the rest of Vega here. There's a little bit of scouting going on, but there's Little connecting a great shot onto JR just as he tries to flank him out there by working his way up the party. He's going to catch this one, shuts it down. No uh, no connector push is going to be coming back out, so they know it's not A, and their commitment to the B side is very much so justified at this point. But Mir with only 9 HP, finding this kill on his zoner, flag trading it, and there's going to be Art picking up one as well. Art finds the final one on the lamp, and that push out for Monster does not go the way they planned it to. Uh, Little was great with getting that info too with how aggressively he had pushed out. Another one of their teammates, I believe it was, I think it was Arrow in this case, uh, pushed out just a little bit too far, so we saw him being baited into a frag, but obviously Little a little bit more resistant and a little bit more hesitant to this. He sits back, he sits in himself into a good position, uh, just waits for the push to come, and as soon as he finds that frag, he knows that, yeah, they're not coming from this direction, so uh, they're able to really solidify themselves onto that B site, hold things up, and now they're going to be able to take the lead, and for Vega too, they unfortunately were not very well established, so uh, they're not going to have a full buy around here. They will get tech that armor on uh, three of their players, which is not necessarily the worst buy in the world, but with Arrow doing the damage he's done, it's not going to be looking so great, unfortunately. One more player, Little down very low, but he's going to pop out, finding one more kill. He's got somebody else on this side lamp. <laughs> Peekaboo, he's going to find that frag to take down Little, uh, but now they've got this into a 3 on 1. If Lamp were to clutch this out, it would be absolutely fantastic, and obviously an ace from him, but with 33 HP, it will not be looking likely, but hold on. There's one kill, now trying to play this out just by moving around his opponents here. Obviously, Art will be sitting back, not wanting to peek out against his opponent just as of yet. Art sitting over here, just outside the bathrooms, waiting for the commitment to the site, and Zoner here too, waiting outside a connector. He's going to see if it, the push will come down from there, and Lamp just has to make a choice, basically. Either way, he's going to be dealing with one player, but that will put it into a one-on-one -on -one if he finds this frag. Poppy got Art's expected to go outside the doorway, but obviously Lamp just did not really see that coming there, unfortunately, from that corner, that very pushed-up spot. So Enzo's going to close this one out. Again, though, the heavy losses that, to be completely honest, weren't a little bit necessary. We saw how that started off there. Little, he was committed pretty heavily there towards the outside of the bathrooms, but there was nothing stopping him, at least at the beginning of that impact portion, from falling back and just keeping himself alive in that situation there. So they lose quite a bit in that round. They will recover the op, so Little's going to keep this one in play. But, still, in the long run of things, not going to be the best. There's Arrow again, picking up a two for one. He takes down Lachero and Mir. And now for Vega, as we take a look at these guys, they're down to three at this point. Uh, very light round, obviously, as you could already see from them. So we weren't really expecting too much to come out from them anyway. And there's going to be Little now working his shots with the up. Finding one more, going to push his direction. So holding back just a little bit here. Waiting for the push to come inside of the restrooms. Can't get that flick. And now he's out in the open. So JR is going to find this frag. Uh, picking one up from the dead CT. But then flies there to cover the final two, taking them down. And so now with a good lead up to three point advantage as we go into another buy round from the members of Vega. Looking at Vega once again, they are going to split themselves up to some degree, but most of the push is coming back over there towards the A site. A little bit of action going into Connector too, so this is this is more of a default setup and can work his way towards either site. What Vega will have to watch out for is just the pure aggression that Enzo is throwing at them right now. Most of their players are now sitting over here in Lower Park, but the push from Long A has actually stopped a lot from happening here too. If they move in towards that, we are going to see some blind shots coming out from Enzo, so... They do see this one coming, and at the same time too, this is this is like this like this is actually like really bad for Menza now looking at this because <laughs> because they left A site wide open, same technically B site through Monster, but they could have covered that a lot easier. So so now they're in the site. The players they did have on A pushed out towards uh, the long air area now. Little sitting on the other side of the smoke. He can't get anything. They've worked into this site. Nobody was on short A. Little's going to be trapped here in just a second. Thankfully, Zoner comes in for a frag, but that smoke's fading away. And, uh, we were obviously going to have Little having somebody behind him in a second. He finds at least one kill, but... Ooh, actually, Latro doesn't find him. He just says if he had him. What? Little keeps himself alive, so Kashander could have tried to hold by the flower pot. Picks up one, finding a second now. Keeping his head down as he's the last player left alive. He's done the damage. Little hard at 4 HP. Little at 16. Takes out one, and he's going to close out the other. So it goes in the favor of Vega. Turns itself around a little bit, but at the end of the day... They Vegas Cassandra is going to clutch it back out, and that will be the round going into the hands of the T's. So now immediately this breaks Enzo again because of the issues that we had discussed previously. 
haven't been very good at maintaining that CT side economy and managing it very well at all here. So Vega will go into another buy for themselves. Now Latro is actually just going to sit himself onto a Tech 9 this time. And look at this again. They've completely flanked the CTs as they tried to go aggressively. The map's at a 180 from what you expect the positions to be here. So Little's going to find a frag, but all of Enzo's pushed themselves out over here towards the park. So they've got nobody in the B site to defend it. And Vega's gotten a free take here. So it's going to be a 4 on 4. Uh, but again, now with the arsenal in the hands of Enzo, they just won't be able to do too much in terms of stopping this one. Uh, Shander's even driven a wedge between these two. He's boxed in two of these guys. There is one sitting up a little bit further onto the A side here, Little, that uh, will probably be able to keep himself alive and well. But there's going to be Art. He finds one kill. They've slowly started to wedge their way back in. But JR's got the op to work with now as well. So he's going to find one more onto Art. Arrow trying to sneak up against these guys. It's going to be off angle when he comes in, so he could pick up a frag or two. Lamp, he's going to find one, and there's going to be Arrow picking up at least one kill, but Kishander finds the trade very quickly, takes him down, and Little will indeed be the only player that stays alive. He's got armor in the P250, so not the worst choice in the world. Also floating on 7k, he can now go for the big op buy-up with pretty much everything he would want sitting behind it there too, so he's going to be in a very good position, uh, but he needs to come out with a star power performance, as does the rest of Enzo at this point, because now Vega have gotten close once again. It was looking great for these guys as they had gotten up to 5-2, but now they've let it come back to 5-4. Um, and they need to try and grow this lead up to something like, I said already, 9-6, 10-5 is going to be the goal here, in my opinion, for the members of Enzo to really feel secure when they switch sides. Because I'm not entirely sure whether to call their second half really a good working point for them, uh, based on what we saw from the first map. But for the members of Vega, everybody inside of the connector tunnels right now, Mirror's going to work his way back out. They have a little overexposed. He's dropped pretty low, but some team damage comes out there too. It's a little bit more of it as he's dropped down to 81 HP. Lamb's going to chase this kill, but he can't find it. Mirror, though, just as that smoke plumes out, he's going to be able to find Arrow, and now Little sits out in the open. He finds one kill before getting dropped by Latro, and now the take's going to be on over here onto the safe site. No commitment from Vega just as of yet, but they are slowly working their way over towards it here. Art is going to be the front, the, really the only player. There's more on the way, but for the immediate take, he's only going to be the only guy here to stop this. Zoner gets himself up now, so there's a little bit more support coming in from this, but he actually moves back down inside of the tunnels once again to try and see just in case this take is going to end up coming down towards the B site, which is a possibility potentially, but I do think that Vega, excuse me, really do want to try and work for a take onto the safe site now. There's Latro again trying to find his way back in. The long push from JR is going to be slowly working its way in here as well, but Art finds this. He takes down JR. Latro finding one. He finds a second one. Zoner and Art both going to fall. And now you've only got one CT left alive, but he's opened up a flanking angle, but his opening spray not going to be the best either. Brings Latro down to 17 HP, but now he's giving himself away. The illusion of this is gone now. Popping out, almost finding Kashander, but he's able to get himself behind Semi. And now he's got a safe position. Fly's got to be very careful. This the nade bouncing in. Is it bouncing enough? No, it's not. And Latro's able to peek back out and finish things off. So that's going to be it. Vega now tie things up at five points. Enzo will have to eco here once again. And this could very well... We saw this too. Remember from the previous map, Enzo on their ecos, they just, they just couldn't work anything. Even... On that CT side, it was not the best. Uh, so, more than likely, Vega are going to be able to take the lead off this one. Do not expect an upset at all to come out here, as Vega definitely should be able to pick up a six point off of the hands of this one. And Enzo will be on recovery duty in terms of trying to bring that score back up for the rest of this half. And they really, really, really just have to try it. on the rounds they do win. Really need to try to keep themselves with more players left alive because that's been another big problem too. They haven't been saving even on their gun rounds, haven't been keeping anything up in play. They've just been going gung ho here, trying to work for these retakes, which is it's great. You sort of like that sort of spirit from a team, but unfortunately, that's it's so bad on the CT side economy. This is really what warrants sometimes too when you see those teams that save too much. Because the teams save too much, they're also have, able to have so many gun rounds. So it's a good thing and a bad thing they do that. And this is like the opposite of the spectrum now where they just. Maybe they want to save a little bit more because Enzo are just left with nothing to do here for so many rounds in a row uh, because they don't save anything on their gun rounds here and they just lose players. Even on the rounds they win too, that's still becoming a problem. So this one's just mop-up duty. I don't think Enzo are going to get a single kill this time. That's Latro to close things out. And Vega now, as we expected, picking up that six point. This will segue us immediately into another buy round from Enzo. But again, another big test for them as well as they've been falling short a little bit here. Vega actually on a pretty big streak up to four in a row now. So it's going to be a direct take over here going into the B site. Everybody pushed down towards it. The members of Enzo should have been able to hear this. The smoke comes in for Monster, but there's not going to be anything to stop it. Three kills already for the members of Vega. Zona responds with one, but that's all they're going to be able to grab. And now we're looking at Little and Arrow. They're sitting up on top. Finally, a save call is going to come out because the odds are just so overwhelming at this point in time. Two on four. They've got utility, but it's not much. And again, no intel in terms of where these players are going to be positioned on site because they don't have somebody sitting close in a secret position. Uh, it's just, that would be absolute suicide if they went for the retake at this point. So Enzo, finally going to call a save. 
This will be good for the long run of things because they are going to be on that full losing bonus now too. And looking at the money situation here, I would have thought that maybe there could have been one player still sitting at a decent amount to maybe go for a buy, but that's not going to be the case here. Maybe dropping a rifle or so, but not looking like it. Even with that full losing bonus, the rest of these guys, the final three, still probably going to have to go for another eco themselves here. But there's little. Holds himself off, picks up one more kill before the round ends, so it does some more economical damage, which is good too, because this is another factor that I haven't brought up as of yet in this map, that Vega, they kind of have a whole lot of cash. Um, so it's looking at 8k, 9k on Latro and JR. Shander at 5.7k, that's at least enough for one more full rebuy coming up after that. Lamp and Mirror a little bit low, but with Latro and JR's amounts, that does make up for it. So these guys are sitting on at least one extra round's amount of buys here at this point. Whereas Enzo are struggling to make even the basics here. And I was actually wrong, apologies. They are able to get themselves out with a full buy here coming into the 13th round. So uh, they're still going to be in a good position coming into this one. But for Fly, Zoner, and Art, once again, they're going to be tested very quickly with a take coming out from the members of Vega coming onto this B site. Just waiting for them to commit to it. In come the smokes and nades right now. So they're going to work for it. The counter flash comes out. The flash will force Art to reposition. Tries to go to the pit ramp, but he can't see anything from there. So he's got to peek back out. Now Zoner's going to get dropped. So far, these grenades are great. So now Art's going to find one kill, but Latro's there for the trade once again. Latro finds Fly as well on the way in. And now Little trying to work his way in, but there's a player waiting for him. Gets that headshot, though. Great headshot from Little. But again, now it's a two on three. And they're going to go for this, which... Mm, uh, we've already seen these retakes. It's not the best for Enzo. And they still have a whole lot of nades. Now he's lost his teammate. Now you want to say but you can't anymore because you committed so Latro actually was pretty ham that round he picks up four kills uh, we didn't really see too much of it that time because we were keeping most of our camera on the CTs but still the choice not to save now is really going to bite the members of Enzo in the butt because now they're gonna force it but they're not really gonna have a whole lot of good guns going into this one they've got one player as well arrow sitting down over here on a 5-7 two FAMASs two on fours they don't have anything for utility they have two smokes three flat four flashes for the entire team one HE grenade uh, so Vega can just walk right into this B site once again. Th there you go. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he caught that. Where is he? Yeah, he caught that through the pallet. He catches he catches Zoner through the pallet there, shuts him down. And there's gonna be Cassander finding one on the entry. Fly responds, but Mir responds to this one. Mir comes out with another one. Now it's Mir's turn to go crazy. He's up to two kills now. This round's over. Little is gonna be the last player left alive. And there's nothing he can do. Now he works his way in, just looking for any kills he can grab. And that's going to be the end of it. Vegas Curse Slatro is going to finish it off. And now they're sitting up at 9 points as we go to the final round. Enzo, I don't know what the hell happened to them in this half. But they started it off so good. Little bit of a bump in the road here. But this is what we were used to coming off of the previous map. But then the defense just completely fell apart. They've been forcing up these previous couple rounds to try and do everything they possibly could. And now there's even team damage coming out too as Arrow stabs Little in the back. Literally. Um... But yeah, the economy was not still not being managed very well. Strategically speaking, it was just everything seemed off. But now they're just going to try blind out aggression and see if this one works. But it's going the wrong way again. It's coming out over here towards sewers and working its way into connector. But the push from Vega is happening over here towards long. So they're not going to catch any of this. The only player that's going to see anything is going to be Little. And he should probably die pretty quickly. Thankfully, he does spot this. He gets one kill too. So that's actually more than I was expecting him to get. But now Enzo, they got to move. They got to get themselves back to that A site. Because this take is going to start really quickly now from Vega. They're not going to hold back for this. JR even baits some more kills out. They try to flank, but look at JR just shutting him down. Gets two kills. Able to fall back. He's still alive. Art finds one for Monsanto and Semi here to take him down. And then Cassandra and Mir shut down the final two. So 10 to 5 in the favor of Vega. An absolutely abysmal half from Enzo, considering the way things started off for themselves. And Vega have a huge advantage here coming into the second half. And that's going to have to be Enzo that has to come out with an absolutely stellar T side if they want to have any chance of swinging this map back into their favor and preventing, preventing apologies, them from going on to map number three. So we'll start immediately here with the pistol round now. Like I said before, Enzo absolutely really needs to pick up this pistol round here. If they don't do it, then Vega's going to have such a secure lead here, and they just might be able to close up this map easily. There's Lamp with one. They've got little trapped here. More on the way, so a lot of a commitment to the connector at this point. Zoner's going to try to challenge it, though. Goes right downstairs and gets two kills! He's got the team support sitting behind him, granted, but still gets those two kills single-handedly. Not even any assists coming back in there. Now the CT is going to have to try to figure out where exactly the take is happening. This is something that they still don't know as of yet either. Zoner's working his way back into here. 
JR sitting down at 25 HP. He's going to fall back inside of the bank. Can't try to stop this. They've got themselves on the site now. They've got themselves a plant. So Enzo might be able to pick up exactly the pistol around the knee. But hold on. They don't have it yet. Cassander finds one headshot. Art responds with another one. But there's JR. He catches one as well. Takes down Zoder as he peeks back outside of the boxes. And now this is going to be a 2 on 2. Little's very low as well. Going for this plant so they can at the very least get the money. But Art's holding this like a champ. Now JR pushes back out. Takes meat. Finds it. Headshot in a little. It's a one on one. JR's got one HP to try to clutch this one out. And Art as well here. Very low. We're going to see the peak coming out from Art. Now he's going to try to finish this back off. JR only has 10 shots left. There's going to be three of them going by. Now he's down to seven. Trying to push back out to finish off Art here. But he doesn't have a kid either. And he's got to try to work with his moves out. He doesn't even see him on the other side. Fires. He sees him. And Art's going to shut it down. Enzo pick up their six point. And they're right back into this game now. But this second round as well. If we do see Vega forcing it up. This could try and stop them right in their tracks. And that's exactly what Vega's going to go for here. They're forcing up. They're buying up the upgraded pistols with the armor behind it. Two scouts and a lamp. NJR and the CZ on Kashander as well. So they will try to stop this before they can build anything. And if they do, it's going to be absolutely gut-wrenching for the members of Enzo. So the push once again here from Vega. Actually going to work its way out of some of the sites. They will try to get a little aggressive here, but... Uh, things don't really pan out at the beginning of this one. The long push, again, nobody from Enzo actually tries to challenge long initially. Kashander is going to get a little impatient. Pushes his way all the way up here, but he catches the kill on the fly. We're going to have one player from Enzo moving in to try to find the trade right now. That will include the bomb carrier as well, so they're going to know it's here as soon as they're able to take him down, or vice versa. But little, we'll shut him down. Again, they've spotted the bomb at this point. They know it's recurrently sitting at the very least over here towards long A. Uh, but obviously, with it being so far back, they can't react to too much of that. So now, specifically with Enzo moving the bomb back down over here, too. And also, Arrow has made some progress on actually taking control of the B site. So he knows that it's clear for the most part. Uh, there's going to be a bit of a wild card factor with Mir. Uh, but obviously, he's probably going to drop Zoner in a second, and that will give him away. He's even going to get some damage over on Amir as well. But now he gets a rifle in his hand. So I wouldn't say this round's thrown just as of yet for Vegas. There's Lactro. There's Mir. And oh no, Enzo. Art finds one. He's still got a long way to go, and he's given up control of the site. The defuse is going to begin. He's just got to work his way back in. jr has got the angle, finds a kill, and now he's going to peek back in here. And oh my goodness, Art with the clutch. Art saves that round from disaster and stops Vega from immediately basically ending this game almost there. That could have given Vega a huge advantage, but thankfully they save it now, and this is going to break Vega. They're going to have to go for a complete save here. And Enzo finally have a little bit of freedom to work with. So they're actually going to take this one extremely light in comparison to their previous round. As we can see, them kind of scuffling the guns around a little bit there. They'll have two AKs, the MAC-10 sitting on the arrow, the Tech-9 on Zoner, and just a P250 on Little, as he's really trying to save himself here at this point. Only trying to get what's necessary to try and, uh, to try and allow his team to win so that specifically he can get that op going for himself once they get into the gun rounds. JR tries to get cheeky, pushes forward there, trying to round the corner, but Little's going to be able to find that with the P250. That takes him down. And now they basically have their pickings here, especially now that the number 5 player here, Zoner, is going to spot all this pressure coming out from Monster, so... Uh, arrow? There we go. <laughs> Finding that kill on the mirror at the very least. So because they've spotted all of this, uh, they should know that Ace State's a pretty safe take. They've got the bomb back pretty low, but... <laughs> Jesus. Arrow just shuts down two players just like that. Obviously, his teammate Zoner had lit them up pretty heavily, but it's going to be two very quick closeouts, and now it's just Cassander. Aim Punch is going to hit him in a very big way, and Arrow stacking on the bucks this round, man. He's going to have a whole lot of cash coming into this one. 6,800. Will be upgrading himself to an AK, but now Vega as well will get the guns back into their hands. Five and fours. Kind of decent amount of utility for what we expect, at least, coming out. For what they were able to gain on the previous two, previous uh, three rounds, of course. Uh, Semi-decent buy up here, but definitely could have been a lot better, of course, if they had gone for the save on that second round. But uh, not going to be happening. They just go directly for the buy up and on that second round. And that's going to cost them dearly because they're not able to trade anything really back down. But they get aggressive here, working their way down. Two for one. Kashander again. Very good in those high-pressure situations. He picks up two kills, keeps himself alive, and takes a minimal amount of damage, too, down to 92 HP. This stops the push coming out from Connector. The rest of the push from Enzo is going to be happening over here towards Long A, working their way over there onto the A site. Uh, but as they work their way in here, there is going to be some resistance. JR is here, and JR is actually saved a little bit by that team damage that comes back out. Fly will find the trade, but now they've been revealed. As, again, with two out of three players pushing into it, it would be very unlikely for the third to be moving on his lens and towards the B site. So they're going to commit two out of three up here towards the A site. Mir, for the time being, was sitting inside a bank, but now rotates back down. The big player here is going to be Kashander once again. As he just flanks around him, look at this. Perfect. Fly's not even expecting this. Fly gets his gun out just in time, so he was able to hold this out initially, but now Kashander is going to fall right back, and now he comes back in the other way. Little, though, I think that was a no-scoop. Shuts down Kashander. More players working their back in. Mir finds the pop. He's going to be able to find out Little, and actually, no, Vega will shut it down, so they're going to pick this one up. 
And uh, that was looking a little bit dodgy there for the members of Vega for a few seconds. They thankfully recover it very nicely. And now they put themselves up to 11 points here. Keeping that lead going. And just five more away from closing out map number two. And bringing us onto our third and final map, which is going to be Inferno. Uh, with the money that Enzo have been able to stack up, though, they are going to get another buy round going for themselves here. So they're still going to be in a pretty good position for it. No op this time, as JR has stolen it from them. And of course, uh, definitely not enough cash for a little to go and be able to afford it in this one. We use the members of Enzo. We're putting a little bit of pressure in towards construction, but they do fall back. They might try to stack it here in a second, though, with the positioning they have. And that could allow them to get a couple kills. There's little jumping up, but Mira sees that coming from a mile away. That's an easy amount of damage that goes over here. You can already see Zoner. He's dropped down. He's going to get finished off with a nade. And little two down to 10 HP. So... Not the best start off here coming out from the members of uh, Enzo as they're going to be very, very low coming into this one. And they've taken some heat already, so just look at how low these guys, players have gotten now. You've got Art down at... You've got Art down. He's the only player left alive with full HP at this point, too. But he's got the bomb, and he's still actually committed to this. He still wants to try and look for some kills by Monster because he knows that these players are going to be sitting on the other side of this. But now with the timer getting a little bit lower, he does have to fall back once more. And Little's just going to stick around and try and catch anybody that tries to throw back against them. Won't be too much to contest, unfortunately. Uh, but this round is just going to be such a hard one for Enzo to work, which is wh why they're playing this out so slowly at this point. Uh, again, they've got 25 seconds up to work with, so they're going to have to go for this here. But it's a two on five. I don't think they've even actually physically seen a single player from the Vega squad, or just as of yet. So Vega has maintained absolute obscurity throughout this entire round. And now as these guys try to work their way back in, there's Arrow finding one kill at least. Uh, but the bomb is going to work its way in, and we do see Art picking up this kill, but he has to go for the Force Plant now. They have turned this back around just a little bit here by taking out three members, and it's actually somewhat miraculous that they've still managed to kill three people. But as this plant happens, just due to the necessity of time, JR is going to Im immediately be able to time that and take him down. So that's still an easy round for Vega to find. Like I said, definitely a little bit messier than it should have been with that being a 5 on 2 scenario. So it's good that Enzo picked up those frags, but they're starting to fall behind now in the point score, and this is not something they can afford to work with anymore. They can't really call, oh, well, yeah, we killed three people when we were down in a 2 on five, so that's good, I guess. This was a full gun round, so they should have been able to trade it and win this out. Now that they're dropping this one, of course, Enzo are going to go down onto another eco round for themselves. Uh, just technized eagles, P250s, no armor coming in for anybody except for arrow, and then you've got Art with a flash. That's, that's all they're going to have to work with this in this one. So now we're looking at a 13 point coming out from Vega, and it's almost a reversed situation of what we had happening uh, just on our last map, actually, now, where they're only going to be able to contest this on round number 13. Thankfully, it's the T side that's fallen behind a little bit here, so they're going to have a little bit more freedom. But anyway, the combat begins. Kashander will find the first one playing from that aggressive position, but uh, the, pr the movement coming out here for Menzo's players is going to be a little bit too rough, so as they push their way back in, Latro holds off like a champ, though. Finds those three kills. Little Art and Fly all falling down to him, and now it's just Arrow trying to work for Wandi shots here. Can't find any. Getting hit down pretty low. He's currently sitting at 53 HP. Finally going to catch one there as he takes down Mir, but JR is waiting for him just around the corner. And that will be Vega finding their 13th point once again here. Still plenty of cash for those rebuys, so they're going to be good to go here. Shouldn't be missing anything. Uh, but this will lead us into another Byron coming out from the members of Enzo as well. And like I said, this is going to be one of their last big chances to try and contest this at this point. Uh, for Vega now, this is definitely a very important round for them and Enzo as well here. Because losing this one, uh, I imagine again that they will go for the force on round number 14. It should be okay, uh, because they're going to be on a four-round losing bonus. And we look at the money situation... They still have the couple with a couple hundred dollars left in excess, but still, it's going to be a lot lighter comparatively to this one. So, uh, we'll see. Maybe AK is probably down to a couple Galeos or Tech 9s potentially. Uh, but already, this round for the members of Team Enzo is not starting off the greatest here. Vegas found the first opening kill. JR again. On just that little tiny shot that he can get with the op shuts it down. And now they've got the they've got the ball in their court in a very big way. JR is also taking down Zoner here too. Arrow's going to recover this op. They've got something else to work with at the very least here, but uh, uh, it's the same problem as the last round. Thankfully, Lastro kind of jumps up and down like an idiot there, watching out towards Long. Still knows that there's a push coming out from uh, from from outside of the bathrooms, but doesn't care about this one. So he's going to jump into his own death essentially. As Arrow's going to be able to catch this one. So now they slowly make progress in the bathrooms, but look over here, Cassander. Patiently waiting, he does get flashed, but Arrow, where's the follow-up, man? Thankfully, he just waits patiently. He's going to find this kill in a Cassander, but if Cassander had been a little bit more aggressive, or even if he had a flash from the corner, he could have just countered this one right back out and kill him once again. So, two left alive from Enzo. Vega, still having a strong hold of grasp over the, here on the A side as well. Uh, we can see the number nine man, JR, is just around the corner. They try to go directly in. They don't have any utility left, so they can't, like, they flash or anything. Uh, but thankfully, JR's going to whiff in a pretty big way here. Art moves in, finds two kills, but Lamp catches the off-angle shots. After finishing off Arrow, he's also going to be able to catch Art, and now they're up to 14 points. The Force will be coming out, and look at this. Tech 9 is the biggest buy Little's going to have. Uh, 
couple guys, again, maybe AKs, but for the most part, it's galleys. There's one AK sitting on art. That's all he gets, though. He doesn't get any utility behind it. And even for those that do downgrade down to Galil's, uh, Arrow still doesn't have any utility. Zoner has a smoke. Same thing with Fly. And Little, just because he's gone for the P250 buy, he's got one flash and an HE. That's all this team has worked with. Two already for the CTs, the third for Cassander. Little coming in, trying to find that trade. He's going to grab it, but JR shuts him down. Now it's just Fly. This game might just be over at this point forward. Fly is going to have to try to push himself into this one, but now he's falling back. I'm going to try to play this one out a little bit here, but stuck over by the fountain, working his way to find an AK. He's going to pick this one up, but it's all about slow play from this point forward. Just trying to see what he can do. Not going to be looking so good as Latro is waiting for him inside of the bathroom. So there you go. He's got the shot, finishes it off without any further conflict. Vega very clean on this one too, so it's going to build up their money. Even if we do see Enzo coming out on top with this next round, like we saw, they just forced it up previously. They get a little bit more cash because now they're on the fifth round losing bonus instead of the fourth round, but... Still no utility behind this buy, and Little has to go for the AK, the AK glass cannon buy here too. Uh, you still has a Galil sitting on the fly. He's able to get a decoy issue with smoke because of this play, but the rest of these guys they do go for the AKs. They don't have anything. Arrow has a Arrow has a flash, and obviously it's the full buyout from from these guys too. They bought pretty much everything that they could afford to work with. Uh, so this is all they can get. It's like they saved up just in case they did clutch out the round and were able to afford any upgrades or anything going into round number 25. Uh, they've all bought out. This is the biggest buy they can afford from this point forward. And there's Cassandra finding one. Art does get a trade, however, so they get a little bit of map control here to work with. But now the members of Vega positioning themselves, getting ready for this A push exactly. Mir put himself over there in the one-for-one -one trade spot, uh, just outside of the bathrooms. And it would have worked out great, because you currently only have really one player in that general vicinity of Peakage, which he would have been able to actually stop. So he could have probably kept himself alive there, too, because I don't think they would have been initially expecting this. But uh, Enzo, as well, are just... Like, Enzo are really just trying to figure out how exactly they want to play this, to be completely honest. Because, uh, again, they've even traded it. They brought this into a 4-on-4, but so far, none of their strategies have really been working out all that well. Again, they've only picked up the first three rounds, and that's off of the merit of the pistol round, and getting very close to losing that second round, but thankfully, they did clutch it out. So, because of these things, they picked up a couple points, but for the most part, ever since Vega have gotten the guns into their hands, it's just been these guys shutting it down time and time again. And Art is going to investigate, but thankfully, he finds, a, he finds the opening pick... But I was a little bit worried about the support from his team, but he's just handling everything on his own at this point. There's Mir picking up one kill, fly wrapping his way back in, he's gonna find one more, and Arrow to shut it down on the flank. Takes down Lamp, and Enzo are gonna be back into this now for the time being, and the money situation for Vega? Actually a lot worse than I was expecting it to be. Only two players that can confidently go for a rifle buy, so they're gonna have to save here. Uh, but they still have a pretty big cushion to work with Enzo, a long way to go before they can tie things back up here. And this is now has to be six perfect rounds from Enzo if they want to take it into overtime, not only, uh, not even just to win out this map, but if they want to take it into overtime, they just need to do this one. It's Vega, they're on the safety point right now, and we do see them trying to get aggressive here to counter out these guys. Don't expect this to go swell with minimal amounts of armor sitting behind some of these guys, but we'll see. Art, not necessarily the cleanest opener here, but Little comes in, he's here to help. He finishes off Latro, finding the second one in the mirror, looking for another one here behind the tree, but it's going to be Zoner. Oh, so I'll take that kill, gentlemen. It takes it away from him, and the final two here, trying to work their way back up from Connector, but now they're kind of trapped in between everybody from Enzo. This free take is going to happen here. The bomb is a little slow, of course. They've really been keeping that bomb back, so Cassandra's actually going to be able to find a kill, but down to Arrow and Fly just line up the final two kills. They get the op back into their power here. Enzo up to 10 rounds now. Five more to go to tie it up. And for the members of Vega, they will be able to get another buy coming out in this round as well. Decent utilities sitting behind the members of Vega 2 as they were able to get a couple mollies in addition to the smokes that they usually work for. JR, of course, taking this one very light because he has it to go for the op buy up. And again, with Enzo winning these rounds, uh, they've been able to strike back a little bit here. So there's going to be Art finding an entry once again, looking for the second one. He finds it, takes down Latro. And what is this? Like, all of a sudden, we've just seen this miraculous turnaround from Enzo now. After they win just one round to keep themselves in this. But here's Kashandor. He's still picking up frags. Finds one in the arrow, but Art's there to trade that one back down. Now they work their way back into the site. JR is going to be the final player alive. He's saving. There's no way in hell he's going to get aggressive. This round's over, and it's Enzo once again. They're not done just as of yet. An amazing play from Art there. Picks up four kills. All the kills in this round have been at his disposal. Could find the ace, too, if he wants to go hunting for it. But looks like he's going to be uh, sticking around. Nope, we'll be denied of that. JR finds the headshot, takes down Art, and now the members of Enzo probably going to sit back a little bit, but he's going to sit himself just inside of the bathrooms area here. You can see Fly, I'm pretty sure he's spotted Fly, he definitely knows he's here now, but the shot's coming back over towards him. Uh, but his main goal is survival, completely flashed though, he's got to hide. 
And now it's going to go away a little bit, looking for the shot. He's going to find it. Takes down Fly. More coming in towards him. Keep in mind, Enzo necessarily can't really afford this. They've been on thin ice, and JR just survives like a champ. Kills three players before the round ends there. He's going to keep this op in play. It will be the only big gun that Vega have here, but the, the damage that, that he's done to the Enzo economy is worth it in itself there. Remember, these guys are teetering on the edge, and if they if they bring them down to a point where they can't afford some of the essentials here, then that's just going to be a great pickup here for the members of Vega to grab now. But they're going to have to go for a full save here once again. Enzo, of course, still have enough for now in order to go for the big buys, as we've seen. Molly, Smokes, HEs, Full Flashes, AKs, Armor, yada, yada, yada. They got the op sitting a little. They've got everything right now, so it's still a full and very efficient buy coming out from the side of Enzo. But it's all on the cusp of if they can take these rounds here. This one should be an easy one, but with JR doing the work that he did back in the previous round, we could see at least a little bit of damage done once again. There's Art, though, to start things off. JR finding the trade, but at the same time, baiting out Kashander. That's going to be Arrow finding the kill from inside of the tunnels, taking him down. Now the plant comes down here, too. JR back, does miss a shot finally. But Latro sneaking his way down here through Connector. Arrow is going to be able to spot him, looking to take him down. Mir's coming out for support as well, but doesn't even need it. Latro shuts it down. Now they're going to move Fly back in here. He spotted Mir. Mir, unfortunately, not watching out for that tunnel push, so he is going to be able to. He is going to go down, I should say, to Fly. And for these final couple of players here, it looks like they've fallen back now. Latro, unfortunately, was not able to find a way outside of the connector to pick up the AKs that he dropped. And it looks like uh, JR, of course, definitely still looking to self-preserve this op. He's going to be moving away. Latro might find himself a little bit of combat as uh, somebody's working his way up towards bank. That's going to be Zoner. We'll see in a second. And Zoner still has his rifle out. So, hey, what do you know? He does get an AK at the end of it. So those are two big pickups from Vega now. As uh, they've been looking to really reestablish their own economy here. But Enzo, definitely not out of this round just as of yet here. As they are still in this, they've still got the buy coming out here. Arrow's going to be a little bit low on cash, but they're able to donate some guns back around here. And again, it's still a very full buy coming out from these guys, but they have brought the money down fairly low. And this is another big buy coming out from the hands of Vega as well. So this is another big chance to try and contest this, try to end the map, and try to take us over to Inferno for number three. But if Enzo had the strength to do this, if Enzo can really bring themselves back up to 15 points, whatever they've done past this point, it's worked out great. Because Vega have just completely fallen by the wayside on their own defenses here, and their economy is completely destabilized too. There, oh, there's going to be JR though. He picks up the first kill over here, shutting down Art. Fly finding the trade over on to Gushander for this one. But now these guys once again here, they're holding a close corner. They've started to rotate up to the A site. It's not looking so good for Enzo at this point, too, because they have been figured out. They're going to have to fall back, potentially, and maybe work it towards the other side. If they do continue with the A push, they're going to run into some big trouble, especially with Latra now pushing out further towards Long, and it stopped them in a big, in a bigger margin here. And Mir, you can just see he's waiting behind Semi. He knows the push is going to be coming out from here. So if Enzo still go forward with this, it's going to be a very, very, very big risk. So they've gotten four. They've done a little bit of a snack here, hoping that Vega put out aggression, but... <laughs> Look <laughs> The walking stack out from cover and they find a kill with it. And now they're getting themselves onto the site here. But Vega, they've also opened up a box spread now. They're coming up around them here. Mir's gonna be coming up now, trying to work his way in from bank. Latro as well is sitting over here at the top edge of the bathroom connector. And Lamp too, he's smoked off at this point, but he doesn't want to get into the site if he wants to push for it here. He jumped to and they see him, so he's gonna get lit up like a candlestick. There's Mir with one. Mir finds his second, and their attention's been drawn here now. So Little, he's gonna try to work his way back in. Arrow as well, looking for more. They've got themselves on the site, they got the plant, but there's Latro completely flanking them. So now it's all in the hands of Little, trying to hold this up, but no! Vega come back in. They've closed it out. That's gonna be the end of it. And Vega will end things 16 to 12 here at the end of the round. They're going to take map number two, and that will throw us into a map number three, guys. That's going to be over on Inferno, so stick around for it. We'll be coming back to you here with the third and final map in this set in just a few minutes here at the Starletter Pro Series number 14.